Steve Dotto here and today we are going to talk about real productivity. What percentage of time that you spend at your computer would you say you spend doing productive tasks? Do you think you spend 60% of your time that you're sitting at your computer actually doing something that's worthwhile and work related? Or is it somewhat less? Could it be somewhat more? I think most of us don't have the slightest idea what percentage of time that we sit at our computer that we're doing things that we would classify as productive. Well, there's a tool that may help dispel any myths that we have in our own mind about just how productive we are. It's called Rescue Time. It's free. It's a little app that you go to their website, you install the app, and give the app permission to basically spy on you. It becomes a snitch. It sits there and watches everything you do, and at the end of the day, or at the end of the week, or at the end of the month, that tells you, Steve, you spent this much time in productive tasks, and you spent this much time not so productive. I'm not sure I always appreciate the little missives I re receive from Rescue Time, but I think it's a good tool. I think it's one well worth looking at, and if you are committed to getting more out of uh, your time at the computer, well, it might be an app that you want to install. You basically install it Mac or Windows. It installs just fine on your computer. You have to give it permission to, to basically be running all the time and monitoring your activities. Once you do that, it then logs everything that you do. It installs on my Mac in, in, into, the, into the task, into the menu bar here at the very top. You can see the little rescue there. It's a little cross with a, with a little hands on it like a clock. And if I go into the, into the dashboard for it, it basically launches my web browser and tells me exactly my activities for different periods of time. You can, of course, change the, change the, uh, the range of time you want to look at. But let's look at the week of June 3rd to the 9th. For me, that week, I ended up being, if we take a look here, out of 40 hours of total time at the computer, averaging just, over, just under six hours a day at my desk, 63% productivity, which actually... I think is pretty darn good. I will point out this was before I installed Diablo 3. I think the following week my productivity might have plummeted somewhat. Let's take a look at what I did on the uh, over that time. I was 63% productive. It gives you different graphics that show you how you productive you are by different days. And we can see Wednesdays. Yes, I'm very busy Wednesdays. That's the day I produce my radio show. Lots of work goes into the into that day. And then it basically breaks it down into social activities, different categories, depending on criteria that you establish as being important. If we take a look at some of the other reports that they create, uh, this one here I think is the most useful. It's the overview report and it basically tells you all of the different activities and how they classify whether or not you are productive those days. If we take a look, I've said email is actually neutral. Well, I'm going to change that setting or actually rescue time says email is a neutral activity. Think of that it can be wasteful as well as positive time. I think my time spent in email is very productive because it's my main way of communicating. So I'm going to actually change that productivity from neutral, so I'm going to weight it more as productive time. Here's another case where you're going to want to modify it as you move along. They consider YouTube time to be spent being very distracting, as because YouTube is basically seen by rescue time as an entertainment vehicle. Well, for me, producing these videos, it's a part of what I do to make a living. So it's not very distracting at all. As a matter of fact, I don't even use YouTube for anything except what I consider to be very productive time. I don't just browse around YouTube looking for fun stuff. No, no, no. I'm, when I'm at YouTube, I am modifying my files. I am checking my, I'm checking my analytics. I am responding to people that are writing to, to me about different things. I'm doing real work. And as you can see, we can go through all of the different sites, basically, and activities that they consider to be either productive or not productive or neutral, and we can modify them, which means that we can tailor how Rescue Time looks at our daily activities and then and help us to determine if we're productive or not. Now, they have a few other different types of reports. This is an interesting one that they create, which allows you to take a look at what, how much time you spend on an average day being productive. And then they, they compare it to, you know, on a day that you're really good, this is the sort of numbers that you reach. I reach 73% on, uh, on our, my most productive days of productivity, telling me what activities I'm engaged in. And on my least productive days, I'm down to 49%. And as I say, when, they, when I did this particular uh, run of, uh, of data, that was pre-Diablo 3. So I, they might, we might have a new low in productivity if I was to run a report based on, say, the last week of time. Uh, it is a free application. You can upgrade to a paid, uh, a paid subscription. 
And the, the main tools that they give you is they give you some deeper tracking, a little more detail, but they also add uh, a tool, which uh, I'll pop it down here and we can see it. It's called, it's called um, Get Focused. And Get Focused basically creates a timer and, and a period of time when it, they will actually block what you classify as distracting sites from you. Uh, now some people do this in different ways. There are word processors, for example, that make your entire screen completely white so there's nothing distracting as you're doing writing. It's going to work in a similar kind of theme to that where it's going to block you away from the things that distract you and allow you to focus in on things that you consider most productive. So that's one of the additional features that is in the paid version. Uh, and there's also team additions which I think you're going to have to think long and hard about if you want to use or not. Basically allowing your boss or a coworker to be able to monitor your productivity or you're, you're going to monitor your employee's productivity and I think you're going to have to take a good hard look at the corporate culture and how, and how you want to approach the, the ability to be able to look and see basically, basically spying I guess some people would think on uh, other people's activities and the sort of activities that they're involved in on the internet. I can see where it's appealing on one side, I can also see where it could be disturbing on the other side. Overall, I've had Rescue Time installed in my system now for five or six months, and I, I'm going to keep it. I like it. I like it. Sends me an email every week. It sends me an email, which is a summary of my activities for the past week. And there's my email. And what it does is it it arrives at a time that makes me. It just makes me think and allows me to kind of get back on focus and on task. I don't actively think about rescue time sitting there looking at me and seeing whether I'm going to be productive or not. I don't strive to get really high marks, but it does tell me whether I'm focused, whether I'm not. And so, you know, if I notice a trend downwards, I say, well, what is it that's distracting me? Is there something, that, is there some external force in my life that maybe I can pay attention to so that I can pump that productivity back up to where I want it to be? I'm Steve Dotto. I hope that you found this video useful. If you have, give us a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to us on YouTube. As well, you can drop by our website at dottotech.com. There you can find many more videos just like this one that are just as useful. Thanks for spending time with me today.